Let's take a look at the oxidation states for each element here in IO minus. This is the hypoiodite ion. It's an ion because it has a negative charge. This is one minus. So we use these general rules to figure out the oxidation numbers. So first off, we do have an ion. So when we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So we don't really know what the oxidation number for the iodine is, but oxygen, that's always going to be negative 2 with just a few exceptions. So we'll have a negative 2 here. We don't know what the iodine is going to be. We know that all of that, though, is going to add up to the charge on the ion. So we could just say x minus 2 equals the charge on the ion. We have minus 1. Add 2 to both sides. x equals a positive 1. So the I in IO minus, the hypoiodite ion, that's going to have an oxidation number of plus 1. And if you add plus 1 and minus 2, you get the minus 1, which makes sense because it all adds up to the charge on the ion. You probably could have just looked at this and figured that out as well, but it's nice to set the equation up and make sure you got it right. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element in IO minus, the hypoiodite ion. Thanks for watching.